Which laptop are you using right now and what is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. MacBook Air M1 – Best for General Use the MacBook Air is the first of two new laptops with Apple's first-of-its-kind own brand M1 processor, which makes for a giant leap in performance and battery life. From the outside, almost nothing about the M1 MacBook Air has changed since the one from April. They match in size and weight, the number of ports, microphones, and speakers. The 13.3-inch screen supports the wider DCI-P3 color space, a feature hitherto reserved for the more expensive MacBook Pro. The inside of the Air is almost exactly the same as its predecessor too, apart from one very important part, the processor, or more accurately, the System on a Chip, or SOC, which combines processor, graphics, and RAM all in one package. The new M1 replaces the Intel Core i3, i5, or i7 of its predecessor. In the cheapest MacBook Air as tested, it has an 8-core processor or CPU and a 7-core graphics processor or GPU, with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage, but an 8-core GPU option is available. The M1 has four high-performance CPU cores that handle the demanding stuff such as crunching data and editing photos, while four high-efficiency CPU cores handle lightweight tasks such as sending emails. Apple declared its M1 chip would enable all-day battery life, and the company has hit that mark. This MacBook Air really is one of the best business laptops in the market, without a doubt. Number 4. Lenovo ThinkPad E15 – Best Under $1000 Well, this notebook's design looks familiar, yet fresh. The second-generation ThinkPad E15's changes over last year are more abstract than anything. This includes a different location of the speakers, although they still remain on the bottom panel, as well as a slightly altered shape of the bottom plate, and perhaps the most impressive one, some weight reduction. Despite the fact that 18.9mm thickness is retained, this year's laptop has shaved some 200 grams off its weight, down to 1.7 kilograms. Lenovo ThinkPad E15 Gen 2 comes with a Full HD IPS panel, model number LG LP156WFC SPD1. Its diagonal is 15.6 inches, or 39.62 centimeters, and the resolution is 1920 by 1080 p Additionally, the screen ratio is 16 to 9, the pixel density 142 ppi, their pitch 0.18 by 0.18 millimeters. This beast comes with the Intel 10th generation quad-core i5-10210U processor, along with 16GB of DDR4 RAM and 512GB of PCIe SSD. ThinkPad E15 is made to give you the maximum security in all the aspects to protect your integrity inside the laptop, and so that you can have the greater reliability towards it. Now, in the end, we can say that Lenovo ThinkPad E15 is one of the most advanced, powerful, and durable laptops which can handle many things at the same time, and has some of the features that no other laptop is having, making it supremely different from others. Number 3. MacBook Pro M1 – Best Value the MacBook Pro with M1 delivers a killer combo of blazing performance and epic battery life, even if the design is too familiar. The MacBook Pro, traditionally equipped with the lineup's beefiest processor and capable of handling intense professional tasks, has up to now been Apple's top-tier laptop offering. But its status is somewhat in limbo thanks to a recent 13-inch Pro refresh featuring the company's M1 chip, a processor that just so happens to also be running under the hood of the company's latest Air. It certainly looks and feels identical to previous MacBook Pro 13-inch models, so anyone hoping for a radical new look to match the radical new hardware within is going to be disappointed. The keyboard is the same magic keyboard as the one introduced with the MacBook Pro 13-inch from earlier this year. This was a welcome change at the time, as it replaced the controversial butterfly switch keyboard, which was often prone to reliability problems. Normally, powerful laptops have to make do with short battery lives, but the MacBook Pro 13-inch M1 of 2020 manages to balance performance with a battery life that can last well beyond the whole workday, which makes this laptop one of the best for business. Number 2. Asus ROG Zephyrus G14 – Best Portable Laptop If you want to get the most bang for your hard-earned buck, then I have to recommend the excellent Asus Zephyrus G14. This is one of the most impressive gaming laptops out there, providing you a great portable design, superb performance specs, great battery life, solid display, nice audio, and so much more. The lightweight body is all due to the amazing magnesium and aluminium used for its construction. Perfect overall. The moonlight white color scheme is just amazing. 
The Asus Zephyrus G14 is packed with a 14-inch panel with full HD resolution and 120Hz native refresh rate. I have to mention that the panel supports AMD FreeSync, which works great for tear-free gaming even though the machine rocks an NVIDIA graphics unit. The Asus ROG Zephyrus G14 is packed with some super solid performance specs to provide you enough oomph to get you through any game with a high refresh rate and beautiful visuals. Let's start by saying that it's packed with a third-generation AMD Ryzen 9 4900HS processor with 16GB of RAM and 1TB of high-speed SSD to make it a productivity powerhouse. On the graphics department, it's armed with the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 with 6GB of RAM that'll impress everyone out there. Number 1. HP Elite Dragonfly – Best All Round the HP Elite Dragonfly offers tons of security, nearly 13 hours of battery life, and solid performance in one of the prettiest chassis ever. Simply put, this laptop is absolutely stunning. It comes in a gorgeous iridescent Dragonfly blue color option that simply stands out wherever you plop it down. Thanks to the magnesium chassis, it's extremely light, too. You can find the Dragonfly with a 1000-nit 1080p display with SureView or opt for a 550-nit 4K display, and we're sure both of those look absolutely phenomenal. And the keyboard? Oh, the HP Elite Dragonfly's keyboard is sublime. With how thin this laptop is, HP could have easily got away with putting a shallow, clicky affair in there – think Apple Butterfly keyboard – but it didn't. It's packed with an Intel i5-8265U 4-core with 16GB of RAM and 256GB SSD as well. The Dragonfly is louder than its namesake, but not by much. Outfitted with a 4-cell 56Wh battery, the laptop can last up to 13 hours, which consists of continuous web surfing at 150 nits of brightness. This Dragonfly is a luxury product. It's the Galaxy S20 Ultra or the iPhone 11 Pro Max of business laptops. It's awesome, but most people don't need it. If you can go without the fancy features, a cheaper configuration will work just fine. Buying Guide What is a business laptop? A business laptop is used solely for business. These laptops are typically made to travel and be used for a longer period of time than consumer laptops intended for personal use. What are good specs for a business laptop? Look for a laptop that has at least 4GB of RAM, but also consider one with space available to add more. The specification may read 4GB installed, 8GB maximum, or something similar. Laptops with space for additional RAM provide flexibility. If you end up needing more, you can upgrade the RAM without breaking your budget. Why are laptops so expensive for business? Business class laptops tend to be a little more expensive than home grade due to several factors. Because businesses usually also pay an insurance or extended warranty premium, it's in the manufacturer's interest to build the machines to a standard that means they won't keep coming back with persistent faults. Display The more pixels you have, the more content you can fit on screen and the sharper it'll look. Sadly, some budget laptops still have 1366 x 768 displays, and so do a few business laptops. But if you can afford it, we recommend paying extra for a panel that runs at 1920 x 1080, also known as Full HD or 1080p. Higher-end laptops have screens that are 2560 x 1600, 3200 x 1800, or even 3840 x 2160 or 4K, which all look sharp but consume more power, lowering your battery life. Budget. You probably know that different brands deliver different quality with their laptops, and if you stick with the big-name brands, you're assured to get a good laptop that'll get the job done. However, your budget will also be a significant factor while buying a new laptop. For that reason, try to find a balance between quality and price, but still, don't sacrifice on the specs and features you need. It's better to wait a while to get a better laptop than to buy the first laptop you can afford.